Hello everybody and welcome to another session of Injustice Gods Among Us. As I sound like an idiot, just like W. Banka HD, he sounds like a fucking moron. So now let's get a little bit serious. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood shout out here. About to give you another Injustice Gods Among Us video. In this video, we do the Red Sun Green Lantern number two challenge battle one on expert difficulty, as well as the other four battles within this video. One challenge currency, one energy per fight, and only bronze characters are allowed on your team. Starting the match off is level 15, Elite 3, Insurgency, Green Arrow, Nightwing, and Harley Quinn. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. And we have three Coca-Colas on deck ready to do this Again. entire video. So we have Deathstroke starting off against Green Arrow. Green Arrow is eliminated, Nightwing comes in. Now keep in mind this is the first video that I'm doing that has the new patch 2.3.1 changes that actually penalize you for not tagging in and out constantly to get three bars of all your characters. So Harley Quinn comes in. Cartwheel does connect for about 500. Nightwing comes back in with a power drain, and that's going to stop the eye for an eye. But we're going to go off a full auto, and Harley Quinn is eliminated for the victory in the first fight. 206 XP. 345 credits. In the second matchup, we have Regime Solomon Grundy, The Flash, and New 52 Green Lantern. Cards gain a level of 16 Elite 3. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. <coughs> Begin. So this fat fucking zombie is about to get hit in the face with this big pointy sword as I continue to make fun of W. Baka AC for sound like a fag. As Solomon Grundy is eliminated, Green Lantern comes in. So Deathstroke is already at two bars. Turbine Smash blocked for 338. So Green Lantern is eliminated. We're going to go off the eye for an eye, and the Flash is eliminated. Thirteen thousand two hundred thirteen damage for the victory in the second fight. Two hundred eight XP. One thousand three hundred seventy-five credits. In the third matchup, we have Challenge Power Surge going up against Cyborg, Lex Luthor, and Green Lantern. Cards gain a level of 17 Elite 3. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. So we're cutting up this fucking black person. And Lex Luthor comes in. Lex Luthor is at one bar. And gets knocked out. Cyborg comes in. Sonic Disruptor blocked, and Cyborg is eliminated. Green Lantern comes in. So we're gonna go off an eye for an eye, and Green Lantern is eliminated. Thirteen thousand two hundred thirteen damage for the victory in the third fight. Two hundred eleven XP. 405 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Sinestro, Regime Catwoman, and New 52 The Flash. Cards gain a level of 18 Elite 3. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. So Sinestro is eliminated. New 52 The Flash comes in and jabs that death blow, pissing him off. And the Flash quickly knocked out. We're going to go off a full auto, and Catwoman is eliminated for the easy victory in the fourth fight. 213 XP. 435 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Insurgency, Deathstroke, Regime, Solomon, Grundy, and Nightwing. Cards gain both a level and a promotion to 19 Elite 4. Skip the matches now. 5,000 credits. Begin. So we have a Deathstroke mirror match going on. My Deathstroke greatly overpowered him. Deathstroke is eliminated. Nightwing comes in next. 
We were already at two bar. Power drain blocked for about 200. Salmon Grundy comes in next. Cleaver Spin connects for 666, the sign of Satan. We're going to go off the full auto and get rid of Solomon Grundy. Born on a Monday, even though it's Thursday. And Nightwing is eliminated for the victory in the fifth fight. 216 XP. 465 credits. In the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Chaos going up against Lex Luthor, New 52 Green Lantern, and Harley Quinn. Cards gain a level of 20 Elite 4. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. Begin. Lex Luthor is getting cut off. And Green Lantern or Green Arrow comes in as well as Green Lantern. No eliminations yet. As Lex Luthor are almost no help. Turbine Smash hits for about 1200, I believe. Well, the Flash is at 2 bars. Now working towards 3. And Lex Luthor comes in with a power drain, drying up the Flash. But we do knock out Lex Luthor. Harley Quinn with a cartwheel. That cartwheel will get almost get rid of Green Arrow, but the Flash comes back in. Keep in mind you cannot get over two bars unless you're tagged in now, new to this patch. So we're going to go off the Speed Zone and Harley Quinn should be eliminated. That's enough to get rid of her. Turn my Smash block for 595. And we're going to go off Green Arrow's level 3 move and get rid of Green Lantern. And so far, no eliminations yet. That's enough to get rid of him for the victory. 218 XP. 495 credits. In the seventh matchup, we have Regime Catwoman, Sinestro, and New 52 The Flash. Cards gain a level of 21 Elite 4. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. Begin. Catwoman is eliminated. New 52 and Flash comes in. Deathstroke is at two bars. The Flash is eliminated. Sinestro comes in. We're going to use Light Attack to get up to three bars. And we're going to drop an eye for an eye. And Sinestro is eliminated. Thirteen thousand two hundred thirteen damage for the victory in the seventh fight. Two hundred twenty XP. Five hundred twenty-five credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Cyborg, Insurgency, Deathstroke, and Regime Solomon Grundy. Cards gain a level of twenty-two Elite Four. Skip the match is five thousand credits. Begin. <laughs> So Destro quickly comes in. Now Destro's at one bar. My Destro's at a bar and a half. Working towards two. And Destro barely gets off a sword spin with no health. But we manage to cut him up. And Solomon Grundy comes in. So we're going to go off the full auto and get rid of him. We're on a Monday, even though it's Thursday. And we're going to go off a sword spin. And Cyborg is eliminated for the victory in 8th fight. 223 XP, 555 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration going up against New 52 Green Lantern, The Flash, and Insurgency Green Arrow. Cards gain a level of 23. Skip the matches now, 10,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> Well, oh, the regeneration for about 17 to 22. Not knows what all. You're doing about 200 damage a shot. Turbine 
Nice smash block for 618. Then the flash comes in. Zestroke is already at two bars. The flash is eliminated. Green Lantern comes back in. Turbine Smash blocked for 482. Green Lantern is eliminated, and we're gonna go off an eye for an eye in midair and get rid of Green Arrow. Thirteen thousand two hundred and thirteen damage for the victory in the ninth fight. Two hundred and twenty-five XP. Five hundred and eighty-five credits. In the tenth matchup, we have Sinestro, Green Lantern, and Lex Luthor. Cards gain both a level and a promotion to twenty-four Elite Five. Skip the match is ten thousand credits. Begin. <laughs> So Lex Luthor comes in. Snake will get beat down. Everyone got a power drain on Lex Luthor just to piss him off. Put him at one bar. Snake throw comes in. Death him above block for 628. And protected by fear, we're gonna cut up Sinestro, and Lex Luthor comes back in. Power Drain blocked for about 300. And Lex Luthor is eliminated. We're gonna go off an eye for an eye in midair, and Green Lantern is eliminated. Thirteen thousand two hundred and thirteen damage for the victory in the tenth fight. Two hundred and twenty-eight XP. Six hundred and fifteen credits. In the eleventh matchup, we have Nightwing, Harley Quinn, and New Fifty Two, The Flash. All cards gain a level of twenty-five. Skip the match is twenty thousand credits. And like always, it will go back to ten thousand credits in the twelfth fight. Not like anybody actually skips these fights. They're easy as hell. So Nightwing tags out after getting the one bar. Lightning Kick does connect for about 800 as the second shot missed. So Deathstroke is at two bars. And Nightwing with a power drain blocked for about 240. We're gonna go for power drain on Nightwing. And a second one just to piss him off. Uh, it does connect, and the flash comes in. Well, the flash is eliminated. That's or Nightwing gets eliminated, and we're gonna get off an eye for an eye after taking a cartwheel and get rid of Harley Quinn. Thirteen thousand two hundred and thirteen damage for the victory in the eleventh play. Two hundred and thirty XP. Six hundred and forty-five credits. So we're gonna make a roster change for the final fight. We're gonna put in Catwoman, Cyborg, and we're gonna put in Green Fifty-Two Green Lantern. In the twelfth matchup, we have the Flash, Cyborg, and Insurgency Destro. Cards remain at level 25, Elite 5. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Now, since we don't have Lex Luthor in this roster, we are going to have to switch our team for the second battle. Catwoman is at one bar. The Flash is eliminated. Cyborg tags in and comes in. Sonic Disruptor connects for 458. And we got a fight on 8 miles for crack. New 52 Green Lantern comes in. Deathstroke comes in. All cards are pretty much at 2 bars. It's been blocked for about 600. Catwoman comes in. That's 
sword's been blocked for about 600. Oh, Green Lantern comes in. And Cyborg comes back in. So we're gonna go off a Beware My Power, and Cyborg should be eliminated. Three thousand sixty-two damage. Sword spin again blocked for about six hundred. Everyone got the nine lives, and Dust Rope will get a boner. Six thousand five hundred eighty-seven damage for the victory in the twelfth fight. Two hundred thirty-two XP. Three thousand one hundred seventy-five credits. So the Red Sun Green Lantern number two challenge battle one on expert difficulty is completed. And now the second challenge, Lex Luthor must be on your team. So we're going to put in Ares. We're going to put in Luchador Bane. And we are going to put in Bronze Lex Luthor. We're actually going to have some fun with this fight. Actually, I think we'll put in Prime Batman just to give out more damage to Ares. So we're going to do that and also ensure that we can handle tougher fights if need be. So we're going to give Ares some gear. We're going to give him the Alloy Sword, the Bloody Sword, and the Mark of Lady Shiva. And we're going to watch Ares go to town in the next 11 fights. In the first matchup, we have New 52 The Flash, Sinestro, and Regime Cyborg. The Bronze cards start at level 25, Elite 5, and the Silver card is level 7, Elite 1. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. Since these cards only have about two to 4,000 health, Ares will shred them up very quickly. As you can see, heavy attacks are normal for about 1,000 damage. Cyborg takes a 1,600 damage critical hit. And Sinestro is wiped out in two shots for the victory in the first fight. 230 XP, 360 credits. In the second matchup, we have Green Lantern, Lex Luthor, and Regime Bang. The bronze cards gain a level of 26. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. And Green Lantern is knocked out in two shots. Lex Luthor is knocked out in two shots. And Regime Bane is also knocked out in two shots for the easy victory in the second play. 232 XP. 390 credits. And keep in mind my Ares is unpromoted. However, he does have 40% damage. In the third matchup, we have Challenge Power Surge going up against Cyborg, Harley Quinn, and Regime Green Lantern. The bronze cards gain a level of 27. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. Cyborg is knocked out in three shots. Harley Quinn knocked out in three shots. Now we got a Weapons of War on Green Lantern. That is enough to get rid of him as he gets hit in the dick for the victory in the third fight. 235 XP, 420 credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Regime Salmon Grundy, Nightwing, and the Joker. All cards gain a level of 28 and 8. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> So I'm actually curious about Ares' God Smack, because that was one of the glitches they probably had, where it would actually transfer to another opponent. Nightwing comes in, we want to get rid of him quickly. We're off to two bars, so we got the God Smack and see how this works. Still hits for 12,000 damage, and blocking disabled still carries over to the next person, so they did not fix that. Born on a Monday, and Solomon Grundy is eliminated for the victory in the fourth fight. 237 XP, 450 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have New 52 Green Lantern, Lex Luthor, and Wonder Woman. The bronze cards gain a level of 29. Skip the match, it's 5,000 credits. Begin. So we have 15% damage, 5% health. Pretty much prevented Green Lantern from getting two shot. Lex Luthor knocked out in three shots. And the big tinted porn star comes in. So we're gonna go off a weapons of war and cut her pussy off for the victory in the fifth fight. Two hundred 
140 XP, 480 credits. In the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Countdown going up against Regime Catwoman, Sinestro, and Insurgency Harley Quinn. All cards gain a level of 30 and 9. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. Begin. So we have three minutes to complete this fight, and I can go take a shit and complete it with a minute to spare easily. So Sinestro is eliminated, and we're gonna have a weapon war on Harley Quinn. And we cut up her pussy as well for the victory in the sixth fight. 242 XP. 4,510 credits. In the seventh matchup, we have Nightwing, Regime, Solomon Grundy, and Nightfall Bane. The bronze cards gain a level of 31. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. Begin. So Nightwing is eliminated. Nightfall Bane gets knocked out in three shots. And the Weapons of War on Solomon Grundy will put him at his board on a Monday, although he does block it, so he does survive the dick shot. And born on a Monday, and he gets punched out for the victory in the seventh fight, as we don't like fat fuck zombies. 244 XP. 540 credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Green Lantern, Cyborg, and Insurgency Lex Luthor. All cards gain a level of 32 and 10. Skip the match, it's 5,000 credits. Begin. 25% health is in play. Green Lantern is eliminated. Cyborg comes in. Cyborg is at two bars. Lex Luthor is in, and that's who we want to get rid of. Power Drain on Ares. Puts him under two bars. Cyborg comes in. And we're going off the Annihilator, and don't mess with the ugly white man. We cap your niggas. Nineteen thousand and fifty-one damage for the victory in eighth fight. Two hundred and forty-seven XP. Five hundred and seventy credits. In the ninth matchup, we have challenged Dampening Field going up against Nightwing, Regime, Catwoman, and Solomon Grundy. Bronze cards gain a level of 33, and the silver card gains a promotion to Elite 2. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Begin. Nightwing is knocked out. Catwoman is in. Catwoman is eliminated, and that fat, nasty zombie Solomon Grundy comes in. So we're going to a Weapons of War and cut that undead piece of shit up right in his dick for the victory in the ninth fight. Two hundred forty-nine XP, six hundred credits, and we receive three energy cards. In the tenth matchup, we have Insurgency, Destro, Green Lantern, and Nightfall Bane. All cards gain a level of 34 and 11. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. It looks like Ares is decimating these guys way too quickly. We're going to have to swap out the two fights. Deathstroke is eliminated. Green Lantern comes in. Green Lantern is knocked out. And we're going to a weapons war on another fat one. And Bane gets his balls chopped off for the victory in the 10th fight. 252 XP. 630 credits. In the 11th matchup, we have Lex Luthor, Cyborg, and Regime Sinestro. All cards gain a low of 35 and 12. Skip the match is 10,000 credits, as we did these fights in like 6 minutes Bane. and 45 seconds. Bane. So we're going to put in a couple Banes, and we're going to put in Insurgency Lex Luthor for the next two fights. We're actually going to put in Crypto Lex Luthor. In case we use Insurgency in the third battle. So we have the stinky, nasty, fat fuck Bane who is sipping heroin out of his tubes. Going up against Lex Luthor who has 15% damage. 
And Lex Luthor is eliminated. Cyborg comes in. It's funny how an Elite Six Bane with no gear is doing less damage than an unpromoted Ares with gear. So we're going to go off the Break of Bat, and Sinestro is eliminated by a fat bot. And that just goes to show you how bad of a card Bane is. Sonic Disruptor blocked, and Cyborg sent back to the ghetto for the victory in the 11th fight. 254 XP, 660 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration, going up against New 52 The Flash, Sinestro, and Deathstroke. The silver card gains a level of 13. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Begin. So the regeneration for about 24 to 29. Which doesn't mean shit because you're knocked out. And Sinestro comes in. So a very weak regeneration in the 12th battle. Pretty much does nothing when you're getting hit to like 900. Nestro comes in, so we're gonna have a raid slam and charge into him with my fat ass for the victory in the 12th fight. 256 XP, 690 credits. So the Red Sun Green Lantern Challenge Battle 2, number 2, on expert difficulty is completed. And we do have a bronze booster pack. Inside we receive a Lex Luthor, Heat Vision, which is Regime Superman's level 2 move, and Thundering Dropkick, which is Nightfall Bane's level 2 move. So in the third challenge, only bronze and silver cards are along your team. One challenge currency, 2 Black energy Adam. per fight. We're going to start off with Sheikh Ahmed Habibi. And we're going to put in some Cyborg, black people. Cyborg. Just because we can. In the first matchup, we have Insurgency Harley Quinn, Sheik Ahmed Habibi, making his debut in Expert Difficulty, and Regime Sinestro. Cards start off at level 7 Elite 2. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. And yes, we do like to overhype Sheik Ahmed Habibi and black people. But black people have feelings too. As Harley Quinn is eliminated, and Sheik Ahmed Habibi comes in. So we're gonna shock the shit out of him with the Arabian Sand Shocker and get rid of him. And an Astro comes in. So we're gonna go up another Arabian Sand Shocker, and Sinestro is eliminated for the victory in the first fight. This is just... 254 XP, 375 credits. In the second matchup, we have Regime Cyborg, Regime Green Lantern, and Green Arrow. Cards gain two levels of nine. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. Begin. So Sheik Ahmed Habibi start off on that black guy who looks like Mike Tyson. And Sheik Ahmed Habibi sends Cyborg back to the ghetto. Green Arrow comes in. And I do sense a tap Adam coming. 3 0 does connect for 448. And Green Arrow is eliminated. We're going to go off the Sheik, the Tef Ahmed Habibi. And Green Lantern is eliminated. Uh. That's some good fucking coke. 36,199 damage for the victory in the second fight. 256 XP, 405 credits. In the third matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration going up against Solomon Grundy, Catwoman, and Insurgency Lex Luthor. Cards gain a le two levels to 11. Skip the match, it's 5,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> Regeneration for about 52.53. Still not knows when we're getting hit for 470. So from the grave kicks it, we're gonna have the Arabian Sand Shocker, and Solomon Grundy should be eliminated, even blocky. Yes, he is. Catwoman comes in. It smells like Cyborg Cop. Catwoman is eliminated, so we're gonna go off the Arabian Sand Shocker and try to send Bruce Willis back to his workshop. And we do so for the victory in the third fight. 259 XP, 
435 credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Sheikh Ahmed Habibi, Regime Nightwing, and Insurgency Harley Quinn. Cards gain one level to 12 Elite 2. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> So Sheikh Ahmed Habibi is eliminated, and Harley Quinn comes in next. Taking a lot more damage. So Harley Quinn is eliminated. We're going to go off the Tap Adam and get rid of Nightwing with the Thunder from Saudi Arabia. Shazam! Twenty-eight thousand one hundred and twenty-eight damage for the victory in the fourth play. Two hundred and sixty-one XP. Four hundred and sixty-five credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Deathstroke, Regime Flash, and Regime Sinestro. Cards gain a level to thirteen Elite Two. Skip the match is ten thousand credits. Begin. <laughs> So Destro trying to pummel Black Adam, pretty much doing no damage. Point Blank does connect about a thousand damage. Destro is eliminated. We're gonna go off the Bomb from Hell, and the Flash is eliminated. Sinestro comes in. Then we're gonna go off the Arabian Sand Shocker after the death from above, and Sinestro should be eliminated for the victory of the fifth fight. Two hundred sixty-four XP, four hundred ninety-five credits. We're gonna make our first roster change. We're gonna put in Deathstroke. We're gonna put in Green Arrow, and we're gonna put in Green Lantern. In the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Radiation going up against Nightfall, Bane, Regime Cyborg, and Catwoman. Cards gain one level to fourteen Elite Two. Skip the match is ten thousand credits. So we have Challenge Cancer, and Nightfall Bane is getting cut up like a fat fuck that he is. Venom Overdose kicks in, Raid Slam blocks for 699, Nightfall Bane is eliminated, and Cyborg is in, trying to protect his nigga. Sonic Disruptor block as Catwoman is on the sideline. And radiation not doing a whole lot of damage to Death Row. Cat Claws is blocked for about 400. Catwoman taking a lot more damage than Cyborg. Catwoman is almost knocked out and we eliminate her. We're going to go off the eye for an eye and send this black person to the ghetto. Straight out of Compton. 26,566 damage for the victory in the 6th fight. 266 XP. 6,525 credits. In the 7th matchup we have Regime Nightwing, Solomon Grundy, and Green Arrow. Cards gain both a level and a promotion of 15 Elite 3. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. And thanks for having to uninstall my game, I found out that I have 84 characters all together on Injustice God Among Us, which was a ridiculous amount. 85 would include Shazam, who I unfortunately do not own, and still don't have. Power Drain on Deathstroke hits for about 440. And we got off a toy blank on Solomon Gray. Does hit for about 5,000, we were hoping to hit Nightwing with it, as he takes half damage from basic attacks. So we're going to go off another point blank on Salmon Gray. Puts him at his from the grave and almost knocks him out and pussy just came out of him. And Green Arrow is in. Green Arrow blocked for 364. And a second Free Arrow blocked for 331. Solomon Grundy comes back in with a swap pin. This is for 1860. Solomon Grundy is eliminated. Green Arrow comes back in. 
Green Arrow fighting for his life. Green Arrow is eliminated, and we're gonna go off the eye for an eye, and Nightwing is eliminated. Twenty six thousand five hundred sixty six damage for the victory. Two hundred sixty eight XP. Five hundred fifty five credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Wonder Woman, Regime Bane, and Insurgency Harley Quinn. Cards gain a level of sixteen Elite Three. Skip the match is ten thousand credits. Begin. <laughs> Wonder Woman starting off on Deathstroke. 10% damage is in play for the opponent. Kill Toss blocked for 809. Second Kill Toss blocked for 1037. Regime Bane comes in after Wonder Woman gets beat down. Rage Slam blocked for 909. Venom Rage kicks in. And another Rage Slam blocked for 1254. Harley Quinn comes in. Line of Fire blocked for about 800. We're going to go off the eye for an eye and quickly get rid of it. So Wonder Woman comes back in and we hit her right in the titties. So we're going to go Green Arrow's useless level 2 move and get rid of Bane for the victory in the 8th fight. Two hundred seventy one XP. 585 credits. In the ninth matchup we have Challenge Countdown going up against Regime Sinestro, the Joker, and Regime Green Lantern. Cards gain a level of 17 Elite 3. Skip the match is 15,000 credits. Begin. So we have two minutes to complete this fight. Nothing yeah. above connects for about 1900. That move's always been difficult to block. The Joker comes in. about 25 seconds to gain our first bar of power. And bang blocked for 11.95. So Green Lantern comes in, Turbine Smash blocks, and we're going to go off an eye for an eye and get rid of Green Lantern. Joker comes back in. Laughing gas blocked for 1629. And Green Lantern takes out the Joker. So we're gonna go off a rocket drive on Sinestro. That's for about 2350. And we bash out Sinestro for the victory in the ninth fight. 273 XP. 615 credit. And we receive three energy cards. In the 10th matchup, we have Nightfall, Bane, Regime Flash, and Green Arrow. Cards gain a level of 18 Elite 3. The match is 15,000 credits. Begin. Venom overdose as Nightfall Bane's almost knocked out. Great Slam blocked for a thousand and five. Bane's almost back to two bars already. And the Flash comes in after barely missing that last shot on Bane. So we got the Sword Flip on the Flash. Blocks that for about seven or 5,500, but still bleeds out. And Green Arrow comes in. Freeze Arrow connects for about a thousand damage. 
There we go, a point blank on Green Arrow. Blocked for about 2,500. Green Arrow blocked for 398. Bane is eliminated. Oh, Green Lantern comes in. That was off a Beware by Power, and Green Arrow is eliminated. Seven thousand one hundred forty damage for the victory in the tenth flight. Two hundred seventy-six XP. Six hundred forty-five credits. So for the last two fights, we're going to make our second roster change. We're going to put in Nightfall Bane, Bane, Bane. Regime Bane. And we are going to throw in Insurgency Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. In the 11th matchup, we have Sheik Ahmed Habibi, the Joker and Catwoman. Cards gain a level of 19 Elite 3. Skip the match, it's 15,000 credits. Now keep in mind, Harley Quinn is one of the weaker silver cards. However, her passive level 2 move is ridiculous. Electric Burst is blocked for about a thousand damage. And we do get off the damage boost. Well, the Joker comes in. Bang is blocked for a thousand damage. Harley Quinn is taking some hits. The Joker is getting down on health. And we're back to two bars with Harley Quinn. And we're going to get in this fat buck and get rid of the Joker without sacrificing any of Harley Quinn's health. And hit for $27.99 back on Jane. Catwoman comes in. Cat Claws is blocked for about 600. And we're going to get off Harley's mallet and light Catwoman's pussy on fire. Twenty two thousand seven hundred fifty two damage. We're going off a thundering drop hit on Sheikh Ahmed Habibi. And he does block the first one, but the second one is enough to get rid of him for the victory in the eleventh fight. Two hundred seventy eight XP, six hundred seventy five credits. In the twelfth matchup, we have Challenge Chaos going up against Regime Sinestro, Wonder Woman, and Regime Bane. Cards get a level of twenty Elite Three. Skip the match is 15,000 credits. Begin. So we have Harley Quinn and Snake from starting out. That's from above connects for about 2,300. Harley Quinn's almost at two bars. And Bane comes in. So we do get off the damage boost before she tags out. Great Slam connects for about 2,000 on Fat Buck. Heavy attacking for almost 400. Harley Quinn with a takes a Rage Slam for 11 away. Venom Rage kicks in. Sastro comes in. Harley Quinn taking some damage. We're gonna go off Harley's mallet and light Snake Throw's balls on fire. Wonder Woman comes in. And Regime Bane is in. Virtuous Strike block. For about 3,000. Venom Rage kicks in for me. And Harley Quinn comes back in. We're gonna go off a line of fire. Almost wipes out Wonder Woman. So we kick her right in the face and Bane comes back in. And Bane is eliminated for the victory in the 12th fight. 280 XP. 705 credits. 
So the Red Sun Green Lantern number two challenge battle three on expert difficulty is completed. And will receive 15,000 credits for completing it. Big deal when you have 2.7 million credits. So now for the next three fights, we're going to use a power generation heavy team. We're going to use animated Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. We're going to use regime Green Lantern. Green Lantern. And we're going to use the insurgency Joker with a ton of power generation gear. The Joker. Which I believe the he Joker. still has equipped. No, he does not. So we're going to give him the Azerothian cloak. We're going to give him the icebound necklace and the hyperspeed suit. The Joker. So in the fourth challenge, the Joker must be on your team. One challenge currency, two energy per fight. Going up against Regime Cyborg, Regime Nightwing, who are at level 20 Elite 2 Silver. And Mortal Kombat Scorpion, making his debut in the challenge, who is level 18 gold. This kind of match is 5,000 credits. Well, Joker is already at two bars. Cyborg is eliminated. Now we're going to have a Let's Be Serious, and Nightwing is eliminated. Scorpion comes in. Scorpion taking a lot of damage. So we're going to go some an Acid Flower and get rid of Scorpion for the victory in the first fight. And 78 XP, 390 credits. In the second matchup, we have Insurgency Harley Quinn, Nightfall Bane, and Batgirl. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. Begin. Harley Quinn starts off with one bar. Light of Fire connects for about 1,800. Harley Quinn is eliminated. Nightfall Bane with a Rage Slam blocks for 998. Venom Overdose kicks in. Rage Slam blocked for 976. Bane is eliminated. And we're going to go off the Let's Be Serious. And Batgirl is eliminated. Kumbaya, motherfucker! 60,114 damage for the victory in the second fight. 280 XP. 420 credits. In the third matchup, we have Challenge Countdown. Going up against Regime Green Lantern, Catwoman, and Regime Aquaman. All cards gain a level of 21 and 19. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. And for shits and giggles, we're going to go for a damage boost in this fight and see how much... Joker super move done with a damage boost. And the clock's in at just over 60,000. So there's the damage boost. Joker's already at one bar. Green Lantern hits one bar. Turbine Smash blocked for 891. Now hitting for 1316 on heavy attack. There's the Joker at three bars. We gotta get rid of two people. Catwoman is eliminated. Aquaman with a trident toss. Well, Aquaman is eliminated and Green Lantern gets cut up for the victory in the third fight as we unfortunately knocked him out too quickly. 283 XP, 450 credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Insurgency Lex Luthor, Regime Sinestro, and Regime Raven. The silver cards gain a level of 22. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. The Joker is already at one bar, already at two bars. Power drain on the Joker. Puts him at about a bar and a half. And Raven comes in. I'm gonna get in Harley Quinn. Twilight's end does connect for about 2,000. And we do get off the damage, so we're gonna get the Joker back in. Demon Stance and Raven is eliminated. Death from above blocked for 1089. That Death from above connects.
So Sinestro is eliminated. We're gonna go off the Let's Be Serious and Insurgency Lex Luthor is eliminated. Kumbaya, motherfucker! 81,584 damage for the victory in the fourth fight. It appears to be about a 30% increase. 285 XP, 480 credits. There could be 40% somewhere in that range. In the fifth matchup, we have Sheikh Ahmed Habibi, Solomon Grundy, and Arkham Origins Deathstroke. All cards gain a level of 23 and 20. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Begin. So, the Joker is already at two bars. Sheikh Ahmed Habibi is eliminated, and we're going to go off a Let's Be Serious, and Arkham Origins Deathstroke is eliminated before you can even stay thirsty, my friend. Tom and Grundy come in, we're going to take those hits and build our bar up. And we're going to an Acid Flower on Solomon Grundy. Apparently that does not trigger his from the grave, so you have to hit him again. And we're going to another Acid Flower. And we do hit 200% for the victory in the fifth fight. 345 XP, 510 credits. So we're going to make a roster change for the next five fights. We're going to put in Mortal Kombat Scorpion. We're actually going to put in Martian Manhunter as well, so we're going to have some oddities in here. And we are going to put in the Joker. In the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration, going up against Regime Nightwing, Regime Bane, and Martian Manhunter. The silver cards gain a level of 24. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. So you see some dog-ass slow regenerations. We'll see what happens in this fight. Looks like I put the wrong card in. Whoops. We're going to get Martian Manhunter in. Power Drain blocked for 553. This is going to be extremely difficult. Power Drain blocked. So we're definitely going to have to make use of this. So we're going to go off a Let's Be Serious on Nightwing. Almost gets rid of him, and Martian Manhunter is in. Sinestro is at two bars. And I believe he's like Elite Six, so he can actually do some damage. Phase Assault is blocked for 975. That takes a lot of health off of him. So we're going to go off Sinestro's Might on Martian Manhunter. For 6312, power drain block for about 570. And a second one, so the Martian Manhunter is right up. We're gonna get the Joker in. Regeneration seems to be pretty quick at about 164. So we're gonna go off a bang on Nightwing. It is blocked. Martian Manhunter comes back in before he can finish the job. That one hits for 1901. Pillar Slam is blocked about 2500. It looks like there's no regeneration on Martian Manhunter. We have not seen Regime Bane in this fight yet. So there's Regime Bane. Venom Uppercut block for 3360. So we're going to go off the Son of Mars on Regime Bane. enough to get rid of him. Kali Fury. Now we're at two bars with Sinead, so we're going to have to work our way up to three. And we're going to go off Sinead's might and try to get rid of Nightwing. That is enough to get rid of him. Phase Assault block for 770. Let's get the Joker back in.
I almost want to kill the Joker off on purpose. Now it looks like regeneration is working. So we're going to go off a let's be serious and get rid of Martian Manhunter. By fucking up and not using Mortal Kombat Scorpion, we actually made this fight really entertaining. 7,128 damage for the victory in the sixth fight. 290 XP. 8,540 credits. So now we're going to edit our roster, and instead of putting the wrong card in, this time we are going to put in Mortal Kombat Scorpion. As we definitely fucked that Scorpion. up. Scorpion. So in the seventh matchup, we have Regime, Sinestro, Deathstroke, and Zod. Silver cards gain a level of 25 Elite 2. So the match is 10,000 credits. Uh. So Sinestro is eliminated. Zod comes in. And Zod is eliminated. Destro comes in. So we're going to go off the Hellfire and get rid of him easily for the victory in the seventh fight. Two hundred ninety-two XP, five hundred and seventy credits. In the seventh matchup, we have Green Arrow, Insurgency, Lex Luthor, and Elseworld the Flash. All cards gain a level of twenty-six and twenty-one. Skip the match is ten thousand credits. Begin. Green Arrow is blocking, but taking a lot of damage in the process. 25% health is in play. So Lex Luthor comes in. And we got a Hellfire on Lex Luthor who is blocking. Still wipes him out. Kick on the Flash knocks him out as well. Free Zero blocked. 521. And Green Arrow is eliminated for the victory in the seventh fight. 295 XP, 600 credits. In the eighth ma in the ninth matchup, we have Challenge Radiation going up against Solomon Grundy, Sheikh Ahmed Habibi, and Hawk Girl. The silver cards gain a level of 27. So the match is 15,000 credits. Begin. Radiation for about 495 on Scorpion. Luckily, these cards don't have 50,000 health. So Sheikh Ahmed Habibi comes in. Scorpion is at two bars. Electric Burst is blocked for about 1,200. We're going to get rid of Sheikh Ahmed Habibi. Swamp Hands blocked for 1378. From the Grave kicks in, so we're going to go off the Hellfire. That's enough to get rid of him. And Hawk Girl is kicked out for the victory in the ninth fight. As Scorpion is dominating. 297 XP. 630 credits. And we received three more energy cards, just like the previous two battles. In the tenth matchup, we have Regime Cyborg, Deathstroke, and Regime Superman. All cards gain a level of 28 and 22. The silver cards gain a promotion to Elite 3. Skip the match is 15,000 credits. Begin. Sonic Disruptor blocked for 562. And Superman is in. Super Strength as he gets eliminated. Cyborg comes in. So we got the Hellfire and try to go for the double elimination. Cyborg is knocked out and Deathstroke is kicked out for the victory in the 10th fight. 300 XP. 660 credits. So we're going to make a roster change for the final two fights. We're going to put Ares back in. We're going to put Batman back in. And we're going to put in the Killing Joke Joker. The Joker. In the 11th matchup, we have Insurgency Lex Luthor, Regime Doomsday, and Martian Manhunter. 
Silver cards gain a level of 29 Elite 3. This gives the match is 15,000 credits. Begin. 25% health is in play. Lex Luthor is taking some good damage. Power Drain blocked for about 800. So Doomsday is in. Ares is up to two bars. Doomsday is eliminated. Lex Luthor comes in. Power Drain on the Joker for about 800. Edward got a bang on Lex Luthor, which is blocked for about 12 seconds. And Lex Luthor is eliminated. Martian Manhunter comes in. Edward got the Annihilator and cut up that Jolly Green Giant. It does make some fucking delicious corn out. Seventeen thousand and ten damage for the victory in the eleventh fight. Three hundred and two XP. Six hundred and ninety credits. In the twelfth matchup, we have Challenge Chaos going up against Nightfall Bane, the Joker, and Red Sun Batman. All cards gain a low of thirty and twenty-three. Skip the match is fifteen thousand credits. Begin. <laughs> Nightfall Bane trying to survive against Ares. Ares already at a bar and a half, now at two bars. So we're going to go off the God Smack and get rid of Bane. It hits for 1143 on everybody else, but it does do a small amount of damage. Well, we got a Joker duel going on. That Bane connects for 1787. Batman comes in. Bang connects with 3038. And that bang hits for 3630. We're going to have the way of the bat. The Joker is eliminated. And three bats will get rid of Red Sun Batman for the victory in the 12th fight. 304 XP. 720 credits. So the Red Sun Green Lantern number two challenge battle four on extra difficulty is completed. Now we have a silver booster pack. Inside we receive a Regime Nightwing, Power Fist, which is Regime Cyborg's level two move, and Electric Arrow, which is Green Arrow's level one move. Now on the fifth challenge, Catwoman must be on your team. We're going to put in Batman Returns Catwoman. We're going to put in Green Arrow, Arrow, Green Arrow, and we're going to put in Doomsday for the first three Doomsday. fights. In the first matchup, we have Catwoman, Batgirl, and Mortal Kombat Scorpion. Silver card is level 20 Elite 3, and the gold cards are both 23. Skip the match is 20,000 credits. None of these cards really have that much health. Begin. <laughs> so Catwoman is eliminated. Batgirl comes in. That girl is eliminated, and we're going to go up with ultimate liftoff. And Scorpion is eliminated for the victory in the first fight. 302 XP, 405 credits. In the second matchup, we have Green Arrow, Luchador Bane, and Regime Wonder Woman. Gold cards gain a level of 24. Skip the match is 20,000 credits. Begin. Green Arrow is eliminated. Luchador Bane does stun Doomsday. We're going to go for ultimate lift off and get rid of him. Finally, we're going to get Arrow Green Arrow in to deal with the Doom Wonder Woman. Just to show him off a little bit. This is one of my experiments I would really like to get up to week 7. He is a cool looking card with a cool utility. Wonder Woman is at two bars and is Green Arrow. Shield Claw is blocked for 945. And we're going to have Green Arrow's level 3 move and get rid of Regime Wonder Woman.
10,206 damage for the victory in the second fight. 304 XP. 435 credits. In the third matchup, we have Challenge Chaos going up against Insurgency Harley Quinn, Crypto Lex Luthor, and Arrow Green Arrow. All cards gain a level of 21 and 25. The match is 20,000 credits. Begin. Doomsday start off on Holly Harley Quinn. Knocks her out in five shots. Green Arrow comes in. Power drain on Doomsday. So Green Arrow is eliminated and a Cat Claws on Lex Luthor for being a pervert. Doesn't really do much damage. Green Arrow comes in. And a Fire Arrow to the face. And we're going to have a Power Drain of our own. Power Drain back for about 700. Catwoman comes back in. And we're going to have another Cat Claws. For about 800. Well, Doomsday's back in. We're going to have an Earth Shake and get rid of Lex Luthor for the victory in the third fight. That hits for about 77,000 damage. 307 XP, 465 credits. So we're going to make another roster change. We're going to put in Regime Catwoman. We're going to put in Dark Side. And we're going to put in Team Titan Cyborg. In the fourth matchup, we have Regime Nightwing, Regime Aquaman, and Green Lantern Sinestro. The silver card gains a level of 22. Skip the match is 20,000 credits. So Aquaman has the most health at just over 9,000. But Darkseid can destroy people really quickly. However, Nightwing does take half damage from base of attack. Power drain on Darkseid, block about 600. Aquaman comes in. Green Lantern Snake is getting pummeled real quickly. Edward Guffey, Farzo Apocalypse is blocked. It's still enough to get rid of Nightwing for the victory in the fourth fight. 309 XP, 495 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Regime Cyborg, Red Sun, Batman, and Zod. All cards gain a level, actually the gold cards gain a level of 26. Skip the match is 30,000 credits. <coughs> Begin. So, Cyborg is eliminated. Red Sun Batman comes in. Batman's getting pummeled. That explosive battering will connect for about 1200. Does not tag out. And we're off the I Am Many Things, and Zod is eliminated. One hundred one thousand nine hundred forty-five damage for the victory in the fifth fight. Three hundred and twelve XP. 525 credits. In the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Countdown going up against Regime Flash, 600 Wonder Woman, and Arkham Harley Quinn. All cards gain a level of 23 and 26. Skip the match is 30,000 credits. Begin. In probably two minutes. 2.30 to complete this fight. <laughs> So the Flash is eliminated. Harley Quinn comes in. We're gonna go off the Omega Blast. That's enough to get rid of her. And the final shot on Wonder Woman almost knocks her out. So we completed that fight in 20 seconds for the victory in the sixth fight. 314 XP. 555 credits. So we're gonna make our second roster change. Catwoman, Catwoman is able to go, so we'll use her for the rest of the battle. 
We're going to put in Superman and Godfall Superman for the next three fights. Superman. Superman. In the seventh matchup, we have Sheikh Ahmed Habibi, Regime Wonder Woman, and Arkham Origins Deathstroke. All cards gain a level at 24 and 27. Let's give the match is 30,000 credits. So Sheik Ahmed Habibi is eliminated. I'm kind of curious about this block if they fix that. No, he still generates power while blocking. Shield Toss blocked for 11.14. Shield Toss blocked for 10.94. Another shield toss for 13.17. Now it does look like they slowed down the power generation at least. Shield toss connects. We're gonna go up the Kryptonian Smash on Regime Wonder Woman. We'll see if there's enough to get rid of her. It's my Godfall Superman is not really leveled up. <coughs> 9,113 Identity Crisis will get rid of Godfall Superman, but we're going to go off a Heat Vision, and Arkham Origins Deathstroke is eliminated for the victory in the Sock fight. 3,168 XP, 585 credits. In the 8th matchup, we have Wonder Woman, Batgirl, and Regime Raven. The silver card gains a level of 25 Elite 3. This kind of match is 30,000 credits. Begin. So the other team starts with one bar of power. Shield Toss blocked for 1407. Wonder Woman is eliminated. Batgirl comes in next. That girl is at two bars. So we punch her out, and we're going to go up a flying punch on Regime Raven. And knock her out for the victory in the eighth fight. 3,192 XP as Godfall Superman hits level 28, gaining 135 damage as well as 338 health, 12,615 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration going up against the Joker, Martian Manhunter, and Batman. All cards gain a level of 26 and 28. So the match is now 40,000 credits. Begin. Bang is blocked for 1911. Generation for about 100. Toxic death for about 24,000 on Superman. You do have to be mindful of Martian Manhunter. That power grade can be annoying. Phase Assault block for 1469. And Batman comes in. So we're going to go off a Kryptonian Smash, and Batman is eliminated. Eighty-seven thousand is damage, and Martian Manhunter is eliminated for the victory in the ninth fight. Three thousand two hundred sixteen XP, six hundred forty-five credits. We're gonna make our third roster change. We're gonna leave Catwoman alone. We're gonna put in Arkham Origins Batman along Batman. with animated Batman Beyond. In the tenth matchup, we have Deathstroke, Containment, Doomsday, and Lobo. The silver card gains a level of 27. Let's give the match its 40,000 credits. As we have to spend our first of two energy the entire fight. So Deathstroke is about to get eliminated. And we're going to go off the Dark Knight and get rid of Lobo.
Then we're getting an animated Batman for some fun against the Jolly Green Fatbuck. Also known as the Ghost of Betty White in mutant form. The animated Batman Beyond is at two bars, but Game and Doomsday is starting to get down on life. We got a slug fest going on. There's the first life. We're gonna go off the future bat on containment doom today. Now in a second life, we're gonna go off a explosive battery. And containment Doomsday is about to go to his third life. We're gonna get Catwoman. And we're gonna go off a nine lives and give Green Fat Fuck a boner. And he makes Doomsday eat pussy. 13,244 damage for the victory in the 10th life. 1,944 XP, 675 credits. In the 11th matchup, we have Sheik Ahmed Habibi, New 52 Nightwing, and Batman Returns Catwoman. All cards gain a level of 28 and 29. Skip the match is 40,000 credits. Begin. You know, Sheik Ahmed Habibi is about to get eliminated. There he goes. And we've got the Dark Knight and get rid of New 52 Nightwing before he tries Power Drink. Now, is the level 3 move overkill? Yes, it is, but they always look cool as hell. So now, Batman returns Catwoman in. And we bash her out in 6 shots for the victory in the 11th fight. 3,264 XP, 705 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Dampening Field going up against Catwoman, Batman, and Animated Harley Quinn. All cards are now level 29 as the silver card gains a level. Super match is 40,000 credits. Begin. Don't look off the Winged Avenger and get rid of Catwoman. And animated Harley Quinn is in. And animated Harley Quinn is eliminated. 45% damage means nothing if you can't deal any damage. So we're going to the explosive Batarang, and Batman is eliminated for the victory in the 12th fight. 3,288 XP, 735 credits. So we're going to make our final roster change. We are going to put in Red Sun Lantern. Green Lantern. And we are going to put in Red Sun Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. In the 13th matchup we have Insurgency Elect Luther, Regime Superman, and Elseworld Flash. All cards gain a level of 30. Skip the match is 40,000 credits. Lex Luthor comes out, the Flash comes in. 25% health is in play, that is bullet time. Wonder Woman is at 3 bars. Fastest Man Alive is blocked. We're about 800. That power drain does connect and put Wonder Woman at a bar and a half. Lex Luthor is eliminated. Regime Superman comes in. Super Strength kicks in. And Superman is eliminated. Someone got the Justice Javelin, and Elseworld Flash is massively overkill. Eighty-seven thousand three hundred eighty-three damage for the victory in the thirteenth fight. Three hundred thirty-one XP, seven hundred sixty-five credits. 
In the 14th matchup, we have Nightfall, Bane, Batgirl, and Shazam. Cards remain at level 30. Skip the match is 40,000 credits. Begin. So Nightfall, Bane starts with one buff. Right slam block for 305. Venom Overdose kicks in. And Bane is eliminated. We're going to off the shield toss and get rid of Shazam right away. So Batgirl comes in. Art of Deception is blocked. For about 250. Now we're going another shield toss and Batgirl is eliminated for the victory in the 14th fight. It seems like you get less time to get 200% on those shields. 333 XP. 795 credits. And in the 15th matchup, we have Challenge Life Drain. Going up against Red Sun Green Lantern, who is level 40 Elite 2. Skip the match is 60,000 credits. Now, usually in expert difficulty, the life drain is about 25%, but on Nightmare, it's 75%. That could be really annoying. The Green Lantern gets some combo now. Generate about 312 from about 900 damage. We're going to go off the Justice Javelin on Red Sun Green Lantern, and that should put him at about one third to one half life. Nine thousand damage. So again, the damage seems a little bit off. It looks like we're gonna need two super moves to get rid of them. Turbine smash blocked for eight forty-three. And we got a second Justice Javelin, and Red Sun Green Lantern is eliminated. No overpowered Red Sun duo, no Raven in this fight. 69,906 damage for the victory in the 15th fight. 5,040 XP, 3,375 credits. So the Red Sun Green Lantern number 2 Challenge Battle 5 on extra difficulty is completed. And now we will receive one uncommon gear item as well as Red Sun Green Lantern. So we get the Cryo Pistol. You have completed the challenge. The challenge will now reset so you can play it again. Enemies will be tougher this time around. So we're going to go into our collection and see that we have four promotions for Red Sun Green Lantern. And immediately following Nightmare Green Difficulty, Lantern. we will have the Elite 7 video, level 50, for Red Sun Green Lantern. So if you like this video of the Red Sun Green Lantern number 2 challenge on expert difficulty, please give this video a like rating. Comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Injustice Gods Among Us videos, my playlist, my Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Show know. And have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!